Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Haley with SLP Debt Free. I'm jumping on today to share my baby essentials. This is a highly requested video. I asked y'all on Instagram if you wanted just frugal options or frugal, you know, and the pricier options. And y'all said you wanted both. So these are truly like what I deem my essentials. So let's jump into so it. So first things first, basics, diapers and wipes. We use Aldi wipes all the time and we use Aldi diapers during the day, okay? We use um, Pampers diapers or like Kirkland or something for nighttime because they're a little bit heavier duty and they don't really leak, you know, when um, overnight. But these are what we use during the day and we love them because they get the job done and they are so cheap. Um, the wipes, no complaints. They are very, very, very similar to um, like ha um, Huggies or Pampers. They even say on here, compared to Huggy, Huggies Natural Care. I've tried Kirkland. I have a big box of Kirkland I received as a gift and I'm going to use them, but these truly are my favorite little journey. And for the diapers, it's $3.99 um, for $38. So kind of along the same lines of diapering. Um, I love this um, Mustela cleansing water. It's like a micellar water, no rinse. I originally bought this because the interwebs said it was great for baby acne. It didn't end up working for my son's baby acne, but I keep it, I kept it, and I use it still um, for really, really stinky diaper changes. So, you know, definitely for blowouts when you don't have time to take a full-on bath. But even with just some really stinky ones, you know, I'll get a wipe and I'll put a little bit of this on it and it smells really good. It's fresh. Um, and I'll just do a quick wipe down at the very end, just to make everything smell nice, make sure it's super clean. This gets off anything super duper stuck on. So um, I ended up really, really liking this and use it more than I thought. Moving on with care items. This is the Tubby Todd All Over Ointment. Okay, if you go into our bathroom or his bathroom, he's got his normal soap and, you know, lotions I got from Sprouts or Target. But this right here is worth the money and worth the extra um, having to buy it online, basically. So it doesn't smell at all. It has no smell. It's fragrance free. But it is super moisturizing. And this is what cured my son's baby acne. Um... I put it on his face every night. A little goes a long way. It doesn't irritate his face and it is so moisturizing. Once again, I found this out in one of my mommy Facebook groups because I was desperate to give my son some relief from his severe acne he used to have. This is another thing I found on social media. I um, mentioned this in my day in the life vlog, but this is a like nail grinder. I know you've seen them if you've ever had do it at home. Um, like nail salon kits. I've seen them before. But this right here is the infant tip. Um, and it just goes on this little thing. The other tips on there are for um, adults. And then there's different speeds. You can turn it on, a little light comes on. I don't know if you can hear it, but it doesn't hurt at all. But it just like, it grinds the nail down beautifully. He doesn't even know I'm doing it. I have clipped his nails his skin once or twice and that was enough and I have the nice clippers from free to baby and mm -mm, no this has been saving grace for sure if you're a mom you've heard all the hype about free to baby products and some of that stuff is overhyped but some of it is the real deal and the snot sucker is the real deal I never thought I'd be sucking my child's boogers and snot out of his nose but I have every other nasal aspirator you can think of. I got from the hospital, I received as gifts, they came in a kit, nothing does it like this, nothing. Um, you've got this little valve at the top that you can pop out and wash, the tubing. Here is the um, filter right there, so it can't, no boogers or snot get into your mouth. It's physically impossible. Um, and I love it. it. It really, really, really does a good job. Something else by Frida Baby that I love is the Wendy. Okay, this is a gas passer type of thing. But what I don't love about the Wendy is the price. Okay, they want $13 or $14 for 10 of them. I found a knockoff on Amazon. Okay, so I can't even pronounce what this is. It's obviously a complete knockoff. 
uh, made in China because it literally has stolen the verbiage from the actual real gas passer, but it is $18.99 for 20. So basically that's a dollar 20 cents per for the real deal and about 90 cents per for the fake one. We do not use these every day. It's not good to use them every day. We use them when we're in a real pickle and he's in lots of pain and nothing is working. We will pull for one of these and it works like this. So definitely spring for the knockoff of this one. Speaking of gas, I've got to include the gas drops. Okay. So, um, this is some random brand. I got it at food lion when I was down at the beach. I actually really like this one. This is the cheapest bottle ever. It was only $3 and change. They're usually like $9, but this has the dropper included. I love that. So I don't lose the dropper, but obviously these work for gas relief, but we also use them in our son's bottles because just the teensiest bit, like a quarter of the recommended dose in every single bottle because Similac Pro Total Comfort, which is the formula he uses, gets really, really foamy. And this cuts the foam like a champ. I learned that on one of my Reflux Facebook groups um, to just put a little bit of gas drops in there and it takes the foam out. So it's not super foamy and bubbly. Love it. Moving on to feeding supplies, I wanted to take y'all down to the kitchen so you could see this stuff firsthand. But this is the OXO Vertical Drying Rack. It really gets the job done. It's a space saver. I'm a big fan. Um, we use the Dr. Brown Standard Bottles for our son. They have so many parts, but it is what works best for him and his reflux. This down here is the Munchkin brand microwave sterilizer. It was handed down to me. I did not purchase it, but it's been great to do a big batch of bottles and parts in the microwave. So, the outlet. I was determined I was going to purchase this no matter what. I was going to be, you know, stringent with my spending, give up other things to make this work. I actually spent some HSA funds. You can use HSA or FSA or just, you know, your typical um, credit card or bank account, obviously, to pay for it. But um, it was $299. That's a lot, I know. But it ended up being such a wonderful thing to have when you have a child that's been in the NICU, especially my son was in the NICU for respiratory distress. So it was so nice to know when he came home, his oxygen levels were fine. Um, they warn you about getting these, the FDA does, but Basically, they just don't want you buying this, putting it on your baby, and then putting your baby in an unsafe sleep space and thinking that it'll be okay because they've got the monitor on. My son always sleeps in a safe sleep space. He is never in an unsafe position for sleep. And this is just added peace of mind, period. And for my personality, I would have given up anything to have the money to buy this. And I'm very glad I did. So this you know, this is great. And when we go out of town or we go um, places that don't have Wi-Fi, it still works without Wi-Fi. It will alert you. The base station will. It, you can't read the readings on your phone, but it still works, um, which has been awesome. Speaking of sleep, let's just keep going with the trend. Okay. These are the only sleep products that work for my son. Okay. I had all sorts of Halo sleep sacks, swaddles, whatever when he first came home. He used to break out of all of them. He came home at six pounds even. He was pretty small and he could wiggle his way out of everything. The only thing that he could not wiggle out of is the Ollie and it's so expensive. It's irritating. But to this day, he's four months old. He still sleeps in this for naps. He can't roll over yet. So, um, or at least from back to front. So we feel safe keeping him in this for his naps nothing compares. I'm sorry, nothing compares. If you have a kiddo that breaks out of the swaddle, give the Ollie a try. Really awesome. Try to find it on um, resale pages if you don't want to pay full price, which I don't blame you. Um, another sleep product that my son now uses is the Magic Merlin. Love this thing. He sleeps in it at night. He can suck his thumb if he wants to, but it is thick enough that it suppresses those reflexes. He still has the Moro reflex here and there. It's not as strong as it used to be, but it's still present. So this kind of suppresses it. Um, people worry about babies overheating. You have to dress your baby lightly in it. 
When it was so hot, we just put him in a diaper in it. And the website says you can do it. Now he sleeps in a very, very thin onesie in this, even, it, even though it's cold at night and he stays warm. Their hands and their feet are exposed and that is on purpose. Do not put socks on your kiddo in this thing. The heat is to escape from their hands and their feet. Their core will stay comfy and warm, but he will not overheat because the heat can escape. I learned that. I read a lot on the website because I was very worried. Um, so if you walk in there and your baby's hands and feet are frigid, it's okay. Touch their nose. Is their nose warm? Is their core warm? They're okay. And for play, I just have one little thing. My son plays with all sorts of stuff, but this is his favorite. This is the O Ball Rattle. We got it from Walmart for like $4 and change. He loves it and it's like crazy highly rated on Amazon and Walmart and for good reason. Um, so he can grab onto this even now at four months and move it around. These little rings he likes to play with. He loves the sound. He can grab on here. Babies love this thing. Even when he was much younger and he couldn't really um, do anything but hit it, he loves the sound. So highly, highly recommend Lastly. this rattle. We love the Boppy Lounger. So I didn't actually register for this, but somebody, one of my husband's work friends was like, we love this thing. This is what we want to give y'all. And I'm so glad he did. This thing is awesome. Um, at first I tried to put my son in it when he was younger and he just kind of like balled up, like he wasn't ready for it, but now oh, love it. So he just sits in it and um, he can play or watch us. We can read books to him. Um, he has reflux, so we have to keep his head up for a certain amount of time after eating. So we physically hold him up for 10 to 15 minutes. But even after that, if we don't want him to go flat yet, we put him in this and it keeps his head just elevated slightly and um, keeps him from, you know, refluxing or spitting up. So we love this thing. I even just like put it in the kitchen and sat him in it while I tried to cook dinner. And he was so happy just sitting there playing and watching me. So... 10 out of 10 would recommend. I plan on giving this now as a gift, like to anybody who's about to have a baby because this thing is awesome. We have the regular Bobby too, and we use it sometimes, but nothing compares to that thing. And I think it's like 30 something bucks on Amazon. Can't be. I it. hope y'all enjoyed my video. Um, I know that was quick, but these are just like my top items. You know, I have other stuff that I use frequently that I really, really like. But when I sat down and made a list of like what I could not function without, these were the items that came up and they're the best. Love them. So um, drop in the comments down below or head on over to Instagram and let me know what are your favorite baby items. Um, I hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.